thank you very much for being here today. This is a very, very exciting day for us here in the British Embassy. And I want to say welcome to everyone. He was the greatest writer in English history, and he was the most exciting playwright in, in British history too. So we are really thrilled that we can post the first folio, which is the first edition, published in 1623 here in the British Embassy today. This is a book which is nearly 400 years old. We've got two precious books on display today. One is the first folio, but we've also got a manuscript of a Sherlock Holmes story published just over a hundred years ago by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle called The Missing Three Quarter. Okay, this is an amazing event. Uh, Jamie Andrews, who's the head of English at the British Library, is explaining to a group of Japanese school children exactly what the first folio is all about. It's going brilliantly, but I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> We've got 120 maybe, 120 high school kids from the international school and from local schools in Tokyo who have come and have been absolutely brilliant. Everyone seems to know a lot of the plays, Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth. So yeah, and I think they're really appreciating it. Felt um, amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah, you don't get to see that book every day, so yeah. once in a lifetime probably. One of the most exciting days, I think, that we've had here. And, and you know, most days there are events going on, but it's been the one that I, I haven't been able to sort of drag myself away from. For anybody who loves theatre, who loves literature, it's a wonderful experience. It's a great thrill to have the first venue here. And to be able to introduce this wonderful artefact to hundreds of people who are here this evening, it's a great privilege. I've just found myself in the extraordinary position of uh, handling five folios of Shakespeare's work and uh, a copy of um, a folio of Ben Johnson's work, not just any copy, one that Johnson himself has signed. Quite an extraordinary experience. And we've just left that reading room and now we've come into the uh, university's um, replica of the Globe Theatre. So it does bring this whole Shakespeare thing very, very much to life to be standing in a place like this. We feel very privileged to have been here today to see your splendid Shakespeare collection. We see this as the start of what we are confident is going to be a very long and fruitful relationship going forward. What's going to be very important to make the partnership work is not just what happens today, but what happens in the future. And I'm sure as we work together over time, we'll identify further new opportunities, areas that we haven't even thought of. This is a very exciting time for us. We very much look forward to working with you um, in a number of ways in the future. Thank you very much. We've had this really fascinating symposium at the University of Tokyo where Martin Donnelly, who is the Chief Permanent Secretary for the Department of Business, gave a really quite stimulating and actually quite revealing presentation about the UK higher education reforms. And we had then lots of discussions with our Japanese colleagues about whether Japan should go down the tuition fee route. We'll be signing an MOU with Jonathan Choi. Uh, between DMU and Sunhua, his organisation. Sunhua have a business school in the, in the northeast of China, Shenyang, which we partner with. And it's going to be a, a tremendous culmination to a, a really valuable few days for DMU. Every time I come, I'm reminded of how similar the Japanese and the British are. Initially, we're really reserved, we take a while to get to know each other, and then suddenly, whoosh. We share masses of similarities in terms of our challenges going forward. Both countries have an ageing population. We uh, have a particular need and interest in sustainability. We're very creative nations. We're very focused on design. That's why I think DMU is such a good fit with Japan. I'm really buoyant about this trip, and I think we're going to be going home with, with masses of practical outcomes, which I think will excite a lot of our colleagues and our students.